Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff deputy. Look, guys, we're at Monroe County Sheriff's Office. To be honest, I'm not sure which Monroe County this is. There are several Monroe counties across the country. So I'm not sure which one this is. But the important point is this, how this auditor, this citizen who knew his rights, how he handled himself when dealing with this cop. As I said in my last video, Things seem to be getting worse instead of better. Cops are seemingly becoming more ignorant rather than more educated. This is baffling to me. A few things that are just sticking out to me more and more lately. It's like it's happening more and more. One, whenever you exercise your rights, it's not you being difficult. It's you not being taken advantage of. For whatever reason, when you exercise any of your rights, every cop views that as you being difficult. Just blows my mind. Two, Recording does not make you a part of any investigation. If so, the whole world will be a part of every investigation. Why? There are cameras everywhere. And if the cop wants you a part of the investigation that bad, well, guess what? Get a warrant. At that point, you can move forward. But until then, I am not a part of your investigation. The third thing that's really been sticking out to me and driving me crazy is when cops now use the reasonable articulable suspicion phrase to state that they have suspicion whenever they approach you. Well, yeah, I have reasonable articulable suspicion. You look suspicious. That's not the same thing. RAS, reasonable articulable suspicion, is suspicion of a person that's committing or have committed or is about to commit a crime. My red shirt can look suspicious to you. You may not like the way my shoes look. They're suspicious. That doesn't mean I committed a crime and that doesn't mean I have to give you ID. It's like they're trying to find loopholes so that they can beat the auditors versus just humbling down and respect the rights of the citizens. Let's check this out. The video is short, but in this short one minute clip, it's an absolute treat. Make sure you stay tuned. Let's look at this video. You're going to love him because he's on me now. <laughs> Good, how you doing? Uh, any particular reason why you're videotaping or speaking with somebody who's having a, a mental issue? Because I'm allowed to. Okay. Yeah. Alright, what's your name? I don't give it. Well, you need to give it. No, you, First Amendment right. A, no, no. Get a sergeant out then. I didn't commit a crime, I don't need to give ID. This is not a stop in ID state. Nice try. I know my law, like, sir. No. You came up to me. No, no, no. <laughs> no, you came up to me, so you caused this. That's so you can get a sergeant so out here. So you can get a sergeant out here. I'm not talking to you. Plead the fifth. You can get a sergeant out here now. This is a First Amendment right. I didn't commit a crime, and now you're coming up to me. Well, you're videotaping. Because I'm allowed to. First Amendment. I know. First I'm Amendment. So you have no authority to ask me for ID. You have no authority to ask for ID. You have no authority to ask for ID. You get a sergeant out here. Get your superior. I'm done talking to you. No, you made yourself a part of it. You came up to me. I didn't. I didn't talk to any of you. I've been sitting here recording. Exactly. Exactly. See the already. And that's exactly what happens when you know your rights. Let's go over a quick bit of case law. This is Glick versus Knuffy. Glick versus Knuffy is a case in which the United States Court of Appeals for the First Circuit held that a private citizen has the right to record video and audio of police carrying out their duties in a public place and that the arrest of a citizen for a wiretapping violation violated his first and fourth amendment rights. It is important to note that Glick was at least 10 feet away from officers and this was said to be okay by the courts. Although Simon Glick was 10 feet away from Boston police officers and was not interfering with the arrest, one of the officers turned to him after placing handcuffs on the suspect and said, I think you have taken enough pictures. Glick replied, he was recording the incident. He said, I'm recording this. I saw you punch him. When the officer determined that this included audio, he placed Glick under arrest for violating the Massachusetts wiretapping law. In a unanimous decision, the United States Court of Appeals for the First Circuit held that the officers violated Glick's constitutional rights and the officers were not entitled to qualified immunity. The court ruled that the right to film the police carrying out their duties in a public place was clearly established and that Glick's actions did not violate state law. Boston reached a settlement with Glick in which they agreed to pay him $170,000 in damages and attorney fees. All right, what's your name? I don't give it. Well, you need to give it. No, First Amendment right. A, no, no. Get a sergeant out then. 
I didn't commit a crime. I don't need to get an ID. This is not a stop in ID state. Nice try. I know my law, like, sir. No. You came up to me. No, no, no. <laughs> no, you came up to me, so you caused this. That's so you can get a sergeant out here. So you can get a sergeant out here. I'm not talking to you. Plead the fifth. You can get a sergeant out here now. This is a First Amendment right. I didn't commit a crime, and now you're coming up to me. Well, you're videotaping. Because I'm allowed to. First Amendment. I know. First I'm Amendment. So you have no authority to ask me for ID. You have no authority to ask for ID. You have no authority to ask for ID. You get a sergeant out here. Get your superior. Made I'm done talking to you. No, you team. made yourself a part of it. You came up to me. I didn't. I didn't talk to any of you. I've been sitting here recording. Okay, exactly. Exactly. See the already. Make sure you know your rights. Make sure your rights are never violated. Stand up for your rights. Stand on your rights, and don't be taken advantage of. With that being said, we the People University signing off.